Hello, this is Prophetess Elise, and of course, uh, this is about rewiring the mind. Uh, when it comes to rewiring the mind, this is the word the Lord gave me concerning rewiring the mind. Rewiring the mind is truly changing your thought processes. Um, I know in my experiences, I used to have this, you know, the same type of thought process that would trigger certain emotions, trigger some behaviors. And it would all, I was always respond the same way. Um, yeah, you may notice this. Why do you always respond the same way? And you're like, you would like to do it a different way. You would like to respond this different way, but it's always the same way. Well, Lord gave me, Lord gave me a mind, uh, insight that he had to rewire my mind. Which is, you know, how do you do that? Rewiring the mind is rewiring how we think and how we process situations, process our emotions, process day-to-day -day things, day-to-day -day life, how we deal with relationships, how we deal with people, how we deal with life itself. It's rewiring it to the point that you're not responding the way you used to respond, which was not always conducive. Sometimes it was negative. Sometimes it was in our flesh and our feelings. And it was, sometimes it was unstable. But when you are rewired mentally in God, you respond the way he would actually want you to respond. And you are truly led by the Holy Ghost and how you conduct yourself concerning situations. The response is different. How you act is different. And how you behave is different. Because as God rewires the mind, your behavior is going to shift more into the likeness of his son. The likeness of the spirit of God. The likeness of truth gentleness and goodness and temperance now the prophetic part comes in when god starts to breathe life into your mindset he breathes life and make you literally become and have the mind of christ people always talk about the mind of christ but god first and all people always talk about romans 12 about renewing the mind renewing the mind is more than just reading the bible and meditating on it this is a work in itself to allow god be through prayer fasting repenting releasing and sometimes you might need some therapy sometimes you might need some christian counseling Sometimes, sometimes you're going to have to release that so you can allow God to identify what are your mental obstructions. What is always causing you to be triggered in this particular way? Because when you are triggered, you will say the same thing in a different situation, but the same response, the same wording. And as people of God, as prophetic people that discern, you can discern when people have emotional triggers. You can discern when people have behavior triggers because they respond in the same way, but it's a different situation, um, but it's the same same triggers, the same response, the same wording, the same texting. That means that God has to rewire that mind and remove all the negativity, remove all the obstruction, remove all the, 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 uh, the uh, confusion, remove all the flesh in order to rewire the mind. Literally rewire. Like people rewire a whole house. He literally has to take every mental process in your life and rewire it into the mind of Christ. Because uh, when you are actually operating in the mind of Christ, you don't have emotional triggers. Jesus didn't have no emotional triggers. Uh, the only time he got righteous and indignant was when they were do, doing, you know, shicey dealings in the, the temple. But Jesus always had a mental state of calmness and coolness, even when he was rebuking, even when he was preaching, even when he was casting out devils. Jesus had a mind to always please God and to always be in a settled place in his mind. He didn't have emotional triggers and behavior issues. He didn't have that. And sometimes we realize when we go through so many things in our life that we don't realize we picked up this stuff. You know, that's why it's important to get therapy if you need it. If it's gone to the point past prayer, it's not going to help this, then you might need to talk to some professionals. And then they got Christian counselors. You know, yes, we got the mighty counselor, the prince of peace. But sometimes you need to consult some professionals because now you're going to need some doctoral help. You're going to need some clinical help in order to, re, re, you know, re, rewire, help God rewire the mind, first natural, then spiritual. 
Some people can just do it without that through prayer and fasting and really meditating their word and really evaluating their mental processes. Really evaluate why do I think like this? Why do I operate like this? Why do I respond like this? And then, you know, if you are, you know, filled with the Holy Ghost and you have a sharp sense of discernment, you can identify why you do that. And eventually in time, the Lord will reveal to you why you did that. Because sometimes we're trying to cope with things, <coughs> deal with different things, excuse me. And we start picking up mechanisms, defense mechanisms, coping mechanisms, you know, different things to help us to deal with stuff, you know. And this is not in the spirit of God. This is in our flesh. This is how God made us, you know, soul, mind, and spirit, you know, will, intellect, emotions. And all of that can be become dysfunctional because of a different mindset that we have created through develop different things that happen in our life. To help us deal with stuff. And sometimes it's not good. And sometimes if we're not careful, we'll revert back to before we even converted or even saved. And start using those tactics, you know, to deal with different things and to handle stuff. And not allow the Spirit of God. That's why it's important to seek God, you know, continuously, you know, pray. Seek the Lord. Seek what different things that you can do to help yourself be renewed in your mind. Rewired. Uh, and it's important to know that God, you know, will continue to remove stuff in your mind where you don't even think like that. Where literally you are casting down dark imaginations because God's like, no, I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to think like that. I'm not going to operate like that no more. It gets shut down because when you're operating in the mind of God and mind of Christ, you don't have time for negativity. You don't have time to be thinking, thinking small, thinking little, thinking fearful, thinking doubt. Uh, thinking unbelief, thinking ill will towards people. God didn't think like that. Uh, he didn't think, you know, how to get at people, how to, you know, how to use people, how to manipulate people. God didn't do that. He didn't deal with people like that. He didn't operate like that. And we have to remember when we are operating the opposite of God, then we need to check our mindset. And also, sometimes we need to grow in our own mindset. Sometimes we are in the same mindset we had 10, 15 years ago. Keep saying the same stuff over and over again. You keep on uh, fussing about the stuff over and over again because your mind hasn't changed. And some people don't want to grow in their mind. And eventually, Lord, just leave them like that. But those who want to grow in their mind and their spirit, they're going to want to do more in their mind. They're going to want to do, think better, grow better, expand. You know, God was a God of expansion, enlargement, increase, more than enough, provisions, joy, peace. He is not a God of lack, fear, doubt, unbelief, anger, meanness. He is not that. So this is what God gave me in terms of tips on how to rewire the mind. Now, we'll talk more about the mindset in terms of growing it, in terms of increasing it, and in terms of being more effective with it. So, I will talk to you later. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video that I'm going to have to edit because I had some little issues and hiccups at one point. But, this is going to help you in your life. This is going to help you in your spirit. You've got to get that mind right. Talk to you later.